Okay, welcome back. All right, so now that we have the animation controller assigned to the character, the next step to do is to find a series of animations that we want to work with uh, and then do the transitions. But this specific clip is going to be detailing just getting a base uh, animation state going. So we have a list here of, um, well, animations that we can apply. Let's go through and see if we can find something that's appropriate. So the very first state that we're going to want to go with is probably something like an idle. So we have this idle that's been assigned to the XBOT character um, detailed in previous videos. Let's go ahead and take that animation and drag it into the animator window. So it's automatically been assigned as a very first animation transition from the entry point. Um, and if you click on it, we can go ahead and there are things that we can do such as renaming uh, the actual um, animation itself. So we've got Thriller Idle. Let's go ahead and just change that to Idle. If I can get the spelling right. And then one thing that you want to note is that if you were to double click on the actual state itself, then it will bring you across to the inspector information for that animation under the animation tab. And then you can inspect the various attributes. Uh, one of the things that we, we want to be able to do is make sure that the animation itself for the idle pose in this instance is going to carry on looping. So we have loop time here. If we go ahead and click that, and in the bottom right corner, click on apply. And so now if we go ahead and test this, we should find that the character drops into an idle animation. Um, but let, let's, let's go ahead and wait on it to catch up with us. So we hit the play button. Let's see what happens next. Okay, here we can see the JSON character is now in the default idle animation. Okay, so we're gonna stop here and in the next video, we're going to start thinking about how to do a transition from one animation state to another.